Hello, welcome to Mount Smart number two. Thank you for joining us for coverage of the Sharman Cup final for 2023. One of the premier cups at stake right now in the Auckland Rugby League. It's going to be Otara up against defending champions Northcote, who won it last year, beating Pakoranga in the final. Good afternoon, everybody. Glenn Lama here. It's a pleasure to be with you today and uh, looking forward to this match uh, coming up uh, in just a moment between these two sides who have already met once during the regular season. High scoring encounter it was with Otara winning that by 40 points to 30. So it should be a cracking match with Otara going for the perfect Shaman Cup season. They've not been defeated in 11 games. Right the way through the regular season, won one of their qualifiers, two against Howick, only missed out just on making the Fox Memorial Premiership on points diff. Back to the back to the Shaman Cup they went, and there's plenty of talent in this team. Natapu, the fullback, has scored 99 points this season. Utai has scored 15 tries in 14 games. Nicholas Stoyava, number three, 15 tries in 12 games. Robert Allen Fatialo for one of the Fatialo brothers has been a force up the middle for Otara. And it's good to see McGrath Lulawai playing in this game today, called in at the last minute because of injury. Here's the North Coast Tigers side. Uh, quite a few of these players back from last year's winning side. Hemi McCarthy's one of those. Um, he was a feature in last year's team. Morgan Cook's been called in. Number 15 to start in the centres. Tane Neho also played in last year's Shaman Cup Grand Final. And Taylor Daniels, a very experienced player, looking forward to seeing him play again. He's a hugely experienced player, former point chef player, played well over 100 games for the Tigers and made the Shaman Cup Team of the Year again this year. So here come the two teams. Of course, we can't forget David Barner as well in the North Coast side. There he is there, the player coach, just stepping past the team, the uh, former Warriors a Newcastle Knights player who got a handful of games playing for the Knights. Seven games back in 2016. And here comes the Otara side. And Northcote. Anthony Gelling with me again for the call today. Looking forward to this one, mate. Looking forward to this one, mate. You've got the defending champions up against a team that's been red hot all year. And their club knows that they're still filling into the stadium now. I don't know where they're going to sit because we're running out of seats. <laughs> Oh, it's really cool. Great to see some good support for both of these clubs with a trophy on the line. Last year, of course, we were on the number one ground just across the road here. Up here for the number two ground this season. Referee for the games, Hayden Price, Lee Fletcher, David Miller going to run the touchlines for this clash. Got to mention the coaches to mention David Barner, player coach for Northcote. Willie Myers done a great job with the Scorpions all season. Watata had a wonderful year, 14 games, just the two defeats back in the qualifiers to the Leopards and the Roosters. So the Tigers to kick off the welcome to the Shaman Cup final for 2023. Should be a terrific contest as it touched on 70 points scored in the match regular season match between these two teams and lots of energy on the sideline as well. That's a statement right there, isn't it, Glenn? That first carry. Tanaki. Here's Tanaki taking the next carry for the Scorpions. A dummy half today's Tuifua. Scored five tries in his eight games this season. So it should be a really good match. As we saw Tusa play the ball there. And Northcote in there making a tackle. William Eriwata, number 13. They're going to be having their hands full with the Scorpions team today. And now here comes the Scorpions up towards the halfway line. But not a bad defensive set to start the match for the, for the Tigers. And the outside of here kicking off, off their 45. Good kick from the Tapu. And that... Tigers player can't pick it up. He would have been in an offside position. Morgan Cook. It's a great kick there 
And the Scorpions have got it. Nicholas Toyaba, watch out. He is mean. 15 tries in 12 games as I touched on. And now here is Robert Allen Fatih Alofa inside the 20. And the crowd are right in full voice in this match. Tuifua. Out to Hakalo, who's playing in the six jersey, looking to play some football. Torvia has intercepted. And away go the Tigers. Good chase back there on Reese Brown by Joshua Perez. And now the Tigers have got a big chance. If they can spin it out to this right edge, things might really happen for them. Albert Talakai has been in great try-scoring form as well for his team. 16 tries in 14 games. Away comes William Eriwata. Wow, what an exciting start to the game. Siona Tali. And now the Tigers inside the 20. Looking to capitalise off that intercept. Siona Tali. And now here comes Kioa. He's a big man, isn't he? He scored 11 tries this season in 15 games. Loves to get over the line. Brown, there's the kick. And might be knock-ons both ways there. Oh, he hasn't ruled a Scorpions knock-on. So it's going to be Otara feed to the scrum. A little trap and scrap there from the number 11. Well, what an exciting start to the game, mate. No, Otara hot on the attack. Oh, sorry for the North Coast uh, winger there. First, first involvement of the game catches Torpedo coming down on your head. Yeah, I reckon the ref got that spot on. Well adjudicated there with Reese Brown just knocking it on didn't play in last year's Shaman Cup final Reese Brown but was involved with the squad last year so he'd be loving being out there trying to win a trophy for his club Watara remember going for the perfect Shaman Cup season can they achieve it or oh, his Tuiaba oh mean that was wicked here's Utai as he kept in the field of play he has exciting left edge that the Scorpions have with Toyaba and Utai 30 tries between them in their 14 games this season Anthony that's amazing strike rate on that left flank yeah it's impressive it's a great mix of old and young in this all title team a few journeymen mixed in with some exciting young talent Tuifua right on the halfway line now here's Fatih Alofa a few of his brothers ended up playing for Howick after starting the season at the Scorpions. And he goes to kick. Oh, it's a perfectly weighted kick, wasn't it? Hemi McCarthy back there. That fullback for the Tigers in this game. It's high energy, isn't it? To start this. Yeah, well, the, both teams are really feeding off the crowd, which is good stuff. Now, here's Albert Talakai. Yeah, I wonder if this is a tempo that they can sustain. I wonder who's going to crack first. Well, taken strongly there, Jason Barner. He's gone backwards. He's been scoring a lot of tries too. Really good to see both teams scoring a lot of tries out wide in this. And there's a great carry up the field by the Tigers. Really doing well. Nice change of footwork coming in until Toyama put on a shot there on Iriwata. And it's been a little knock on. How about that from Toyama? <laughs> That's a huge hit. I thought Eddie Watts had done a right to hold on to the ball there, but he seems uh, quite concerned with his left ankle. He's still down on the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah you can see that left back. leg just trapped and twisted there. Well, William Eriwata, he's been a key player. Didn't play the first five rounds of the Shaman Cup. He's played every game since round six. Yeah, he's been strong for them this year. I was lucky enough to uh, pull their game against Ponsonby earlier this year. Uh, I like the way he plays. He runs very hard, very direct, similar to a Boyd Cordner type player. Runs hard and direct and just tackles all day, which is exactly what you want. He looks to be in some strife at the moment. This Another look there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's not going to end well, is it? Uh, be a big loss for North Coast if he has to come from the field. It's Jermaine Tusa. Let's see if Eriwata can run that off. Got a 
Meyer is uh, looking to come on, who is North Coast Player of the Year. He largely used off the interchange this year. Tafiri Hedemeyer, so we'll see. Yeah, it looks like uh, Eddie Watas is struggling quite substantially on that left ankle. Not able to put any weight on it at all. What a blow here for the Tigers, just six minutes into the game, Anthony. It doesn't feel like six minutes. It feels uh, a very intense six minutes. A little stoppage in play, giving both teams a little uh, chance to, to catch their breath. Well, this will force a reshuffle. Hit him by more of a dummy half player. And we'll see who might see Sion Atali move back into that middle forward role for the Tigers. That's good chase right up there from Reese Brown. Love that play. Shutting down Povia. Yeah, no space whatsoever there. Tuithua. And the Scorpions on the halfway line. Good tackle made by Neho. Back goes Yakopo. Tuithua again. Keeping it tight are the Scorpions as Anthony brings it forward. <laughs> oh, it's good gamesmanship already in this one, isn't there? See the Scorpions play some football at this left edge. Natapu is through. Yes, Koyava. There's a try for the Scorpions. And how at that Koyava, who's virtually scored in every game that he's played this year, gets over for the first one. You mentioned that left edge earlier, Glenn. Showing there how dangerous they can be. Natapu has come up with plays like this all year. He is the uh, highest point scorer in the Sharpen this year. Uh, what a beautiful break from him, Natapu. And that left edge is sizzling all year for the Scorpions. Checked it himself beautifully there, didn't he? Good pace, good draw and pass, beautiful fullback play. Oh, there's a good spirit in the Scorpions. As they go over to score. Great try. They've got their tails up here, the Scorpions. Great support from their fans. It's a sea of red and black. Stands here. I think the music's gone up a few decibels yeah. as well. <laughs> it's party time here at uh, Go Media Mount Smart number two. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Fui Maila Natapu. 99 points. He's, in fact, he's no, he's got 102 points. So he cracked 100 last week in the preliminary final, which Otara just won by. Two points, 18 to 16 over Ponsonby. They played Ponsonby three times this year. Won them all, Anthony, but they were really tight matches. 24-18, 28-16, and then last week, 18-16. And the Tigers tipped over the Hibiscus Coast Raiders, 35-22, and that reversed their 42-26 loss during the regular season. Yep. So two really good Shaman Cup preliminary finals played. Some awesome finals. Otada last week going right down to the wire. I think the final play of the game was... Uh, Robert Fatiolofa knocking down a pass that was uh, would have seen them miss out on the final Ooh. today. Well, they just got there. It's Natapu, 102 points this season, 45 goals and three tries. He's scored this year. So he's uh, been a big scorer all the way through the year. Three goals last week. Converted all the tries that the Scorpions scored last week. And he's got them off to a good start there. Six points to nil to the Scorpions. Beautifully crafted try. And Toyava going over for his 16th try this year. Love that play. <laughs> You see Filippo Utai got way out of position, got way forward of the, of the play. He was so excited. Now off the back fence come the Scorpions. Yeah, there's a lot of oh. excitement down there on the field. I think Northcote are really going to have to weather the storm in the first 20 minutes. So it's harder. They're energised. They're playing with momentum. Uh, Tanaki, back goes Hiramaya. <laughs> the Scorpions fans love it. Northcote have had no good ball of the, in the first 10 minutes. It's been all Otara. It's a Simo right on the 40. Do we four again? Almost overrunning the pass there was Anthony. And he 
He's over the halfway line. Getting the Scorpions on a good roll. Run forward here. Fati Alofa. Tuifua. He goes to kick from Hakalo. Oh, has that been lost? It has by McCarthy. He just seized on that one a little bit too much. More possession coming up here for the Scorpions in a very attacking position. McCarthy just should have really let this bounce the second time. He really tried to attack the ball. Probably didn't need to there, Anthony. Yeah, it's the chase from Otara, though, just forcing that question. Putting him in uh, two minds there, forcing that little hesitation. Uh, kick's only as good as his chase. Yeah, the Scorpions are up for, it, up for this game, aren't they? Big time. And that is a high tackle. It's uh, 2014, the last time Otara won the Shaman Cup. Oh, yeah? Well, that's nine years ago, right? Well, let's see if they can carry on with it here. Tanaki, he's hit hard by Kiwa. Oh, a little lock on there, and he's got a bit of payback there, the Tigers. Ah, oh, hard luck there for Pierce Tanaki. Security is going to be key. Yeah, good to see Pierce Tanaki making his way back home to Otara this year. I think he might have played for every club there is to play for in South Auckland. But he's picked the right one this year. Back at Otara. Back into a final. Oh, Northcote, hardly any decent ball. And now, well, that was a good work there by Cook. Tough loaded to Albert Talakai. Get a Meyer into dummy half. Now Northcote looking to get some dominance. And then Shellshock rocked a little bit in this first half. That was a good run by Daniels, wasn't it? Really needed some good meters. And now Payne, Reese Payne. Get a Meyer into dummy half. Reese Brown. These key players, Houston Holloway and Taylor Daniels, pretty experienced back rowers. They're going to need big gains for the Tigers in this contest. Now Malu, over the halfway line, goes the 5 8 Peter Reese Brown, with that spiral bomb. Didn't quite get a good connection there. Perez has got it there for the Scorpions. Good return of the football too by Perez. The set starting midway between the goal line and the halfway line as Utai takes the next carry for the Scorpions. The yeah, Otara just seems to be favouring this left channel of the North Coast Tigers. And with Eddie Watts going off, there's a lot of work to do out there defensively. They're going to have to share the load between them. Ball security this time from Pierce Tanaki is good. Away goes Tuifua. Now here's Tanaki. Italy goes the Scorpions' way. Referee didn't like the Tigers. Tanaki. Tuifua. Now Anthony. Here comes the Scorpions again. Fatih Alofa. Really charging forward nicely there for the Scorpions. Out it comes. Big chance here. There's a second try. And it's Hakalo. Makalani Hakalo who's gone over to score it. And the Scorpions are hot in this game so far. Yeah, too big, too strong. You saw Tafiti Hedemaya just holding on for dear life to tackle before. 
You got left on the ground. And Ortada just riding that momentum. Big left foot from the number six. It's too hard to stop one on one close to the line there. Another good try. Well, great try for Hakalu. It's his fourth of the season. Chimed in with eight goals as well through the season when this man hasn't been kicking Natapu. So far, it's been a real scorpions onslaught hasn't it uh, Northcote have not been able to get into any decent field position at all oh, it's a tough start you would almost pick this as a home game for Otara yeah. as you can see the stands there packed out and also a, uh, a rumble of the motorbikes surrounding the uh, the stadium you can hear them in the just purring quietly in the background yeah, just you? purring away don't adjust your TV set well it's not an earthquake rumbling that's the, uh, <laughs> the motorbikes from the south side of course, this will be packed next weekend too for the Fox Memorial Final with Wayne Point Chef meeting Richmond in a city Auckland battle this year. Scorpions up 12 points to nil. Hope you're enjoying the Shaman Cup final for 2023. And up comes Robert Allen Fatialoff. He's played all the games for the Scorpions this season. Tuifua, good hands from him at dummy half. Semo, playing the ball, running onto it nicely is another good hit up here by the Scorpions. Jeepers, they're really making some metres up the middle, aren't they? Big charge there by Tusa. Northcote oh. have got their hands full, looking after these big rampaging middle forwards that the Scorpions have got in their team. Now Natapu looking for that spiral bomb. Got a good connection on that one. Another error. Oh, oh. but is. That could have been a third try right there. Well, he's frustrated, but they'll go back to the original infringement. So the Scorpions are going to get a scrum and a prime attacking opportunity again. It's a tough day to be a North Coast Tiger because use the word rampaging Glenn that's exactly what it is one after the other these big boys for Otara well this is a big moment in the game right here Puvia feeds the scrum to e four off the back there's Hakalo Natapu well, they shut down the left edge there, or have they? Oh, Natapu could have given it there to Utai. It might have happened there for Otara again. Here's Toyava with the next run. Nicholas Toyava taking five metres out. And that's dropped by Tusa. So the Tigers get a little reprieve. Gervain Tusa. It's a sigh of a relief. You don't want to be three three tries down with less than 20 minutes gone. So there's a chance here for them to get off their line now, get back into this game. There he is. David Barner. The captain coach. It's hard not to pick yourself on finals day, is it, Glenn? <laughs> well, he's been, uh, he's been used to, he's used himself sparingly. I say that, nine games. I don't think he started any. So I went through the records in the last couple of days. He's been off the interchange. Didn't play last year. Well, he didn't play in the final, at least. Well, they need him out there right now. Yeah, he's so uh, got some work to do to get back into this one. What a fine junior warrior he was, David Barner, back in the day. Another drop ball by Holloway this time. And they're just not able to handle the, the pressure at the moment. These North Coast players, again, really making it, making it tough for themselves. David Barner, of course, was at, at the, in the Junior Warriors team when they were at the peak of their powers. 
Back about 10 years ago, maybe a bit longer than that now when they were making playoffs and grand finals for fun. Now, David Barner, speaking of the man, is uh, going to be pink for a high tackle here. Yeah, well, he featured in the uh, the match fit game this year. Oh, yeah. Might have been offside there, actually, if you're looking at the referee. A lot of rugby league IQ in that hit, though. What are the Scorpions going to do here? Taking the two. Interesting decision. They really have been dominating the game. But I guess they just want to get themselves two scores ahead. Anthony, that's their kind of thinking behind this one. Yeah, I think so. You don't want to go two scores up, three scores up and put the cue in the rack. I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll want to keep this momentum going that they have. As we saw in the game before this, how, how things can turn. We've got the rep season coming up too, very soon. Into our old premiership starting next month. It'll be cool to see a few Scorpions in the County's Monaco team this year. Yeah, I think there'll be a few of them in there for sure. And I can't wait to see them. Some really exciting talent going up against... Yeah, well, Papakura or Tahu, who had pretty good seasons this year. Howick as well. He's certainly got a lot of depth. County's Monaco Stingrays uh, in a competition that's been dominated by Akarana in recent years. So there's the, the two going over. So Natapu is three from three on the day. And it's all good so far for the Scorpions. They're up 14 to nil after 18 minutes. They have been right on point in the start of this match for the Shaman Cup. Don't forget next week, folks, on, the, on Saturday, we've got the Grand Finals Day coming up for the men and the women. The Fox Memorial Final between Point Chev and Richmond and the women's final. Ooh, that could have bounced out. Women's final this year between Howick and Mount Albert. As Jermaine Tusa returns the ball with interest again. There's Barner up there trying to make a tackle. Really trying to keep the Scorpions' big forwards quiet. That's what they've been able to do. They've been allowed to dominate so far. And you can see him there just finding their front each time. Just building momentum for the next guy who's coming through. Barna makes three tackles in a row. That one on Fatia Lofa. Back on the inside comes Anthony. Tui Fua. Back to Natapu. Caught in possession. That's a great defensive set there. Easily the best of the game so far by the Tigers. That's a huge play there from Holloway. Energy out of marker, putting kick, kick pressure on. Coming up with the result. Well, I don't know about you, Anthony. I'm trying to remember whether the Tigers have had a set, a full set inside Otara's half in the game. Don't know if they have yet. They've got that intercept. There's Hemi McCarthy. No, I don't think they have. I don't think they've been inside Otara's 20 yet. <laughs> Siona Tali. There's the Scorpions. Here comes Kuya. Oh. oh, big shot on him right there from Mahoney. I've never been so happy to be sitting in the commentary <laughs> box. <laughs> David Barner now taking a carry. For the Tigers. Good fast play. The ball, Reese Brown. Great to hear the Scorpions fans lighting it up. Penalty to the Tigers. So a flop there by the Scorpions. Oh, this is great stuff. So I think that, uh, that call came from the touchy there, David Miller. I think he called the, the flop initially. I think the referee might have heard knock on in the ruck, but Northcote now. Well, where important they strike back here. Jeremiah. Reese Brown looking to spread the ball. Put a bit of pressure on the left edge defence. It's been dropped there by Talakai. That was a tough pass for him. Neho probably should have taken the tackle there. Yeah, he's trying to put his winger into some space. It just isn't there. Great edge defence there from Otara.
There's the flop tackle. It's Mahoney who was penalised. But in the end, the Scorpions survive. Away goes Perez with a darting run out of dummy half. Three four again. Here's Utai. Well looked after by the Tigers defence this time. Two four is away. Oh, he's lost it. Might have been might have a case there for Tigers play, but that's always going to be a loose carry. Oh, good pressure from the marker there, just staying alive on that tackle. I think Ikomalu could have picked this one up and had a go, but referee's blown his whistle. Ikomalu, former uh, Cook Island International, nicknamed the Rubik's Cube. Bought his Rubik's Cube to camp one year and that's your nickname now, forever. We're poking his nose through Holloway. Hedemeyer at Dubby half for the Tigers. Here's Barna. Unfortunately for the Tigers, the offload doesn't hit the mark, but McCarthy goes back to fullback to tidy up. Hedemeyer, lose about 10 to 15 there. Here's Barna again. Oh, oh what an wow. offload there. Brilliant play from the Tigers. That was miracle stuff. Hedemeyer at dummy half, Reese Brown. Oh. Good hands again, but it's been taken. Taken by the Scorpions. Exciting play by Northcote. But Povia has it. I love that pass from David Barnaby. Oh, what's not to love about that one? Shades of Jason Williams, something you'd see on a basketball court. Yeah. It is. And now throwing himself into the line. That's a good run by Mahoney for the Scorpions. It is at dummy half. Oh, they love it, don't they? Solomona out there now. Philip Solomona wearing 15 for the Scorpions. And now here's Lulawai, who's out there too. McGrath, Lulawai, brother of Thomas, son of James. And he earns his team a penalty. Hugely experienced player, of course, in the UK system. 238 games in his career up there for witness. Yeah, a lot of experience here for Lulawai. Looking a bit pasty on the thighs. I think it's been a while since he put his rugby shorts on. <laughs> Oh, that is just brilliant from David Barnett. Oh, you'd love to see that finished off. Now, normal people making an offload like that would break their wrist, wouldn't they? Because there's so much kind of backspin on it. Barnett just had that expression on his face. Yeah, man, that's easy. Why can't everyone do that? Now, here comes Toyata, this excitement machine, wearing the three jersey for Otara. Fantastic season he's had. Tui Fua. And check this out from the Scorpions. It's Holani. Gets those legs pumping. Clash of the Titans there. Oh, is a penalty. Hard luck there for your penny, Kiwa. Well, he gave a penalty away there, but you have to do something to make a stop. Yeah. Even if you do give away a penalty. Surprise, are going for the two here. And they're going to go for another two. But I've got to say, looking at some of these players off the bench for the Scorpions, Anthony Solomon and Mahoni Holani, they look like they have got some depth. Got a depth, really strong pack. Lulawai as well. I think best thing for Northcote to do is stick to these offloads because you've got to move these middles around. You've got to make them work. You can't make it easy for them. Well, so far, it's been all Otara. Since David Barnes come on, they've... They've had a little bit more momentum, the Tigers. Yeah, a little spark and attack. Just quite haven't had the... Haven't quite polished their opportunities. So, Natapu to go four from four on the afternoon already. And he gets Scorpion's second penalty goal. 16 to nil with 10 to play in the first half. Hope you're enjoying the Shaman Cup final. Got to say congratulations to the Mount Albert Lions who won the Fox Plate earlier today, beating Tiaratu 22 to 16. 
We've got to look at that offload one more time. <laughs> what a shame that it, a try didn't come from it for the Tigers. Yeah, it's a matter of almost, but as hard as it is for Northcote, I think they've got to keep things up the middle. As hard as it is running into these big bodies, if you keep going, they will get tired. Here's Philip Solomon with a good return of the football right there. Good run from him. Filippo Utai. Continues the momentum and Tui Fua drops the ball. He'll be disappointed with that one. Petty Tui Fua. The Tigers have been under the pump. Good chance for them now, though. Anthony, 40 metres out, full set. If he can somehow get some points. And the first 30 minutes of this game has flown by. Coming up to eight minutes left in the first half. Hedley. Here. Inside the 10 metres from scrum. So, here comes Northcote. And they're just going to take the tap. Oh. And Latu is hit hard. You don't see that often. Jeremiah. Barna used as a decoy that time. Out it comes to Daniels. Good little charge here coming from the North Coast Tigers by Morgan Cook. Talakai is going to have a little crack at dummy half. But there's plenty of red jumpers to stop him. Cook again with the play from dummy half. Back it comes to Hedemeyer. Intercepted! This is going to be another try. Oh, lovely link-up play, Perez. Well, he blew that one earlier, but he's not to be denied. <laughs> Joshua Perez. Oh, this is great stuff. The Scorpions 20-0. Yeah, he's looking left and right for some support there. The old high knees technique seemed to run out of steam with about 30 metres out from the line. But just when you thought Northcote might be getting a bit of momentum back. Otara Sting. The Stinger comes out. Uh, he read it, didn't he? Tapu Yekopo. But still had some work to do there. I love the, love the support play from Perez there, Anthony. Got himself in good position. Finished it off. Yeah, they're playing as a team at the moment. Third try off the game. Perez, that's the seventh try. And the Scorpions fans absolutely loving it. you got to love the whack in the defence from Otara as well. Yeah. Not often you see guys like Latu and Kioa push backwards like they have been. Yeah, they're big, bad, big bodies, aren't they? And Kioa's better. He's had a big season for the Tigers. So here is Natapu once again. Perfect with the boot so far. Four from four in the game. Looking to make it five from five. <laughs> 22 points to nil. And Joshua Perez loves every minute of it, doesn't he? Yeah, the crowd's loving it too. Fantastic turn up. It's pretty much Otara who have uh, taken every seat in that main grandstand over the far side. Short kickoff already for the Tigers from Neho, and he's kicked out on the full. Well, they just can't buy a trick at the moment, the Tigers. Uh, they'll just be wanting to get into the sheds now at half time and hit the reset button. Hit the reset button, come out and start again. And no luck there for Tain Neho. Well, what they've got to do is stop Otara scoring again here 
five minutes to play until half time. Been a tough first half for the defending Shaman Cup champions. Leuluwai on the 40. Dui Fua. Away goes Tovia, and that's been dropped. So for once, the Scorpions don't execute. Yeah, good, de good defense there from Reese Brown. He got up hard, checked the man off the ball, and was able to change. Switch back inside for Sierra. And Mahoney, it was dropping it. down by Reese Brown who upset it's Daniels great offload from Taylor Daniels still got wonderful skills hasn't he the veteran player McCarthy he thumped that time by Tui Fua. Here's Daniels taking another carry. They're taking damage every time they go oh. to the line. Oh, and the amount of noise those Scorpions fans are making in the stands, Anthony, you'd think they'd scored another try. Oh, every tackle you hear the crowd erupt. Yeah. Someone's getting the stuff in knocked out of them every time they go to the line. Daniels be disappointed there. Look at it, he knows instantly. It's great support for Ortada at this final. He's created a magnificent atmosphere. Tuifua. And there's no doubt, too, it's made a huge difference to the team on the field, hasn't it, Anthony? You know, you, you can get a good crowd behind you. You can give you five to ten points, I reckon. Holani. Yeah, it's a massive lift. Even in the first 10, 20 minutes, Otaris has blown these guys off the park with the help of that, that fan support in the stands. Simo. Looking for that offload. Almost getting it as well he's strong isn't he totally man is uh yeah and now here comes Povia taking a carry but he runs into the two biggest men that north Coast have david pana and latu yeah <laughs> latu giving him a bit of a shot as well the uluwai to the line Bolani. now for the scorpions they gotta hold on there the tigers here goes the little kick, and it's taken by Hemi McCarthy. So the Tigers do have it. But they're at the wrong end of the football field. Talakai's going nowhere. Just runs into a red wall. Yeah, a huge hit from Torvia there. And if you can't run at the halfback without getting whacked, where do you, who do you exactly. run Exactly. <laughs> where do you Neho. go? Neho. And dummy half was Jason Barner. And Holloway thumped nice and hot, hard again. Hiramaya. David Barner with that little offload again. Just showing off now. He is, isn't he? Holloway. Last play now for the Tigers. Reese Brown. He's lost it. Scorpions have got it full set. 45 seconds left in this first half. Switch a play. Has it back to Mahoney. They get to speed quickly. They're big men, don't they? They've got good turn of uh, pace. All their big men. But that's going to do it. Wonderful first half for the Scorpions. They have put three tries on. Toyava, Hakalo, and Perez getting over. Great goal-kicking display, too, from Fui Maila. Natapu with five from five. Happy days for the Scorpions. The Tigers have it all to do to win the Shaman Cup for the second straight year. It's the Scorpions leading 22 points to nil at halftime.
Well, here next week, we've got the Fox Memorial Final and the Women's Premiership Final. Looking forward to seeing Howick and Mount Albert do battle in the women's game and the men's final this year. It's Point Chev going for another title against Richmond. I think there's going to be a big target on our team this year. Uh, I know that last year we, we won last year. Last year's grand final, which was an epic game, won just by Point Chef. Completed an unbeaten season for the Point Chef Pirates, and here they go again, looking to defend their title. Here comes Big Spat simply. Tavita has a dab from Dummy Half, and he could go all the way here. Oh, yeah! And that's what happens when you can make a mistake against Point Chef. They will punish you. And the Bulldogs have, over the history of the club, have won close to 12 times. Yeah, the hunger is there, and you know, we've got a lot of young boys coming through, so I know they're, they're hungry as well. And in goes Jeremiah Schuster. What a try, too. Sawaki Tolfa. All day doggies. projects where we make your interior fit outs easy. From start to finish we bring a wealth of experience to every project and we love what we do so please come and meet the team. I wear the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish by having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations. We aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit-out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. Well, we're almost all set for a second half here at uh, Go Media Stadium. Mount Smart number two, Otara Scorpions, 22 points to nil, leading Northcote in the Shaman Cup Grand Final. And the Scorpions, you're just commenting in the in the break how good they've looked in this contest, Anthony, and they certainly wouldn't have looked out of place in the Fox Memorial Premiership this season. Yeah, it's been one-way traffic so far this year. And I think uh, Bortide are very lucky to miss out on the uh, the grading stages to be sent to Charmant. There was a slight exodus. They lost a lot of players to Howick this year. But you wonder just how different things could have been if it was Howick that was in the Shaman. And you had players coming over to Bortide. They would have been a real force in the Fox. But Well, this is quite a start here. And again, it's Northcote who are needing to play some football to get back into this game. Any era like that. They're going to have to chance their arm. But up until that era right there, that forward pass, that little tip on, that was a good set by the Tigers. They had a good roll on there. Yeah, good shape even on that play there. Good shape. Putting the winger into a little bit of space. But 
Yeah, yeah, you mentioned the break. It was only it was only a short break, five minute half time. Is that enough time for Northcote? You think to regather themselves? Well, I'd say yeah, not long, is it? Get some energy back into the legs. Fufia, what a great break, and away goes Tuifua. Tuifua. He's only 12 metres out. The Scorpions rolling forward again. Natapu set up the first try. There's a little dab from dummy half. Tuifua again. Leuluwai. Taken by Sionatali. Tuifua. Nicely scooped up. Mahone. Scorpions looking to keep the pressure on here. Hakalo, who got that try in the first half. He's a strong lad. Last play now for the Scorpions. A little error at the play, the ball. Yeah, lucky break there for Northcote because Otara were set up on the right. Oh. It was the last tackle, but they weren't shaping to kick. They were shaping to score a try. Oh, must have just been a slight fumble there. There's uh, Hakalo. Placed the ball on the ground there. To do it cleanly. And Henry McCarthy. Not much to him, is there? He's had a, a challenging day at the back so far. All the way. And that's not limited to just McCarthy either. It's been a tough game for Northcote. Brown. Let's see if Latu can spark up this team. David Barner. Good shot, Paul. Still got all the skills, hasn't he? Fortunately there for Northcote, they've lost position again right on the halfway line. Great so, work from the defender, able to wrap his arm around and punch that ball out. Yeah, it was very good work. Scorpions move forward again. Here comes Utai. Volani, it is. Oh, good shot, Paul. Le Uluwai. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's kept the ball. <laughs> wow, we don't need to describe that one. The pictures tell the off. story as Natapu. I think he can leave him off. He's a lot faster without him. <laughs> <laughs> Akalo with the chip kick. Good chase here by the Scorpions. Here's Utai. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another try for Otara. Well, they just roll through to the Scorpions. This amazing performance. Oh, we're not going to watch this again, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what, um, I think Northcote's still distracted there from Luluai losing his pants. It's usually not till about 10 o'clock tonight the pants come off, but... Uh... <laughs> well, pretty stylish finish. What would you give that uh, dive out of 10, Anthony? Oh, that's an 8.9 yeah, on mate. the Olympic scale. Filippo Utai getting the score. 16th try for him this season. And Natapu, well, they're having a dream Shaman Cup final, aren't they? Yeah, summarises their season. And no one that can stop them this year. Yeah, 14 games, the 15th game for them this season, only losing twice. But they were both in the qualifiers to Otahu 34-16, and then they lost Tiaratu 48-4. I guess that was the game right there that saw their points differential take a hammering in the qualifiers and didn't see them make the Fox 
Premiership this year. Yeah, because even a loss to Teatro would have still seen them into uh, Fox. But, yeah, just letting that one get away from them. The points differential cost him dearly. Well, Natapu's having a great game as well. Six goals from six attempts so far. Everything that Otara is doing in this game. They are nailing it. Those little one percenters they talk about. Everything. Been a blemish-free performance pretty much. Now Anthony's back out there now with that carry. Here comes Mahoney. Very good off the bench. They're yeah, starting the second half just like they started the first. Straight and hard. Here's Holani driving up towards the halfway line. The Uluwai. He's got that drawstring pulled a little bit tighter now. Yes, indeed. Got it tied off. You better hope so. Here's Hakalo's kick. That's a tester as well. McCarthy and Talakai getting mixed up there. More possession coming for Otara. And that's one thing that the Scorpions have been very good. Their midfield bombs have been perfect in this game. Right on the money. And you see that kick there. He drops it right in between the fullback and the winger. It's a little bit of confusion there. Which is, I suppose, the whole idea. Fantastic kick. Yeah, they saw it. Opportunities created with that tactic in the first half as well. Four tries to nil to the Scorpions. And now Utai to feed the scrum. He just got that last try. See if the Scorpions can extend their lead even further. Tovia taking that tackle. Guifua his Toyaba. Keep your eye on Natapu here. So out on the left here, but they're going to the right. Here's Anthony. And for the round the corner pass. Tuifua. Ooh. A tough pass for Tuvia to handle. So it's going to be a scrum to the Tigers. Little hand there. See in the replay there, Tuifua. Rhys Brown again. Yeah. Watch Rhys Brown here. Hello. Cheeky from Rhys Brown is able to get. There's a little slap to the forearm. However, the referee's called it back, and he's saying Reese Brown did touch the ball. So it's going to be all tied ball again. Well, looking to come back on, Yupini Kiwa. North Coat need all they can get up the middle of the field at the moment. Just not being able to withstand this onslaught from the Scorpions in this game. Here comes Yakupu. Tuifua. Back on the inside comes Robert Allen Fatialofa. Tuifua. Charging straight ahead, Philip Solomona. He's setting up here. And they're going to spread it. Surely out to the right here. Leulawai mm. has been knocked down there by Reese Brown again. You've got to hand it to Reese Brown. He's getting himself into the right position to just disrupt Otara as much as he possibly can. Yeah, he's causing some, some mischief. He's a spanner in the works at the moment. Position coming for the Scorpions. Here comes Holani. Oh, he's just a loose carry there, and then it's going to be a North Coast scrum now. Holani disappointed with himself. Yeah, so with back to back sets on the North Coast line, Otara still look very fresh. Looks like Eddie Watts is going to come back on after getting that ankle injury in the first half.
So the Tigers off the scrum. Get no real space for them to attack there. Daniels. Hiramaya. Now Latu. Solid contact right there on Alan Kitson, who's come off the interchange wearing three. We've got a good roll on here. There's a kick earlier in the count this time. Looking to drive Utai back. Chasing through Talakai for the Tigers. And Filippo Utai. Well done by Talakai. Dragging him close to the touchline. And for once, Otara now deep inside their own half, having to return the ball. And the Tigers desperate to force an error. I think their big boys having a well-deserved rest. Some of them just a little bit slow walking back behind the ball. It's not Tapu. Well, the Tigers might sense something here. Anthony, they're just a little bit... Or put her back on their heels a little bit here, the Scorpions, really for the first time in the game. Yeah, it's the first, uh, first time they've been able to keep them inside their half. You can feel mm-hmm. almost... Size cuts them in half through the middle. <laughs> Akalo with that midfield bomb again. McCarthy. Yeah, this time. Well done, Hemi McCarthy. You see the crowd were giving him well, everything they had as that ball came down. Here's Albert Italakai. Taken strong by Nicholas Toyava. Taylor Daniels coming to the sideline. For a well-deserved breather, the veteran player. Now Neho. Meyer. Out near now, Kua again. Meyer. Nice footwork by North Coast Player of the Year. Desperate to keep the ball alive. See if they can find some space on this side of the field. Northcote just feeling like they're just got a bit of a momentum building at the moment. There goes kick from Malu. Oh, bounces kindly for the Scorpions. And it's Huckle who has it. Yeah, I think Northcote could have done a little more just to get on the end of that kick. It was allowed to bounce by Otara. They had some bodies around the ball, but Otara Scorpions back in position now. Tapu at dummy half now, Utai. Good strong tackle coming in there from Morgan Cook for Northcote. Good front foot running ball as Povia almost sucked in that Northcote defence again. Little knock on. So Northcote just starting in the last five minutes to get into the game a bit more. But basically they're going to have to score at a point a minute if they have any chance. Yeah, time's it's just going to be just, tough, tough. Time's going by so quickly in this game. That's great work from Tafiti Hiramaya. He's had a tough day at the office. You've got Hemi McCartney catching torpedoes out the back. That's a tough job. You also got the job of Hiramaya stopping these big boys in the middle. I think he's definitely out of his weight class, but he stood up well today. the Tigers do. Really haven't had any opportunities in the second half at all so far as Alan Kitson played the ball there. Change of direction coming in from Reese Payne. Brown. Nice pass from Holloway. Out to Neho. Back to Holloway. Holloway looking for space. Good tackle coming in right there from Yakopo. Again, Northcote starting to Find some metres up the field as Malu brings it back to Kiwa. Big fella's put on his backside, 15 metres out. Brown standing nice and flat. Malu, back comes Iriwata. Brown, big speculative pass. Still alive. Now that's not played at, it's still there for the Tigers. Malu again, desperate for something. 
And the kick was taken by Tui Fua. Well, it ended up being not a bad kick there, Anthony. Uh, bit Tigers of a, tried everything. Bit of a hectic into the set. Throwing it around like a game of touch footy there. But Otara just giving him nothing, no space. Scrambling well. Natapu. Tuifua. Nice and direct goes Toyava. That's a good run. Yeah. Look at Iriwata just coming out of that tackle. He doesn't look good. He's come back on the field after getting injured in the first half, but... He looks to be in a lot of pain with that left knee. It's tough, isn't it? I mean, you want to win a trophy for your club, don't you, Anthony? You just put me out there, coach. I want to, I want to help. Yeah, last game of the year, you want to you empty the tank. So that pass has been ruled forward. That's why we come back to it. That pass from dummy half. Tough call against Otara, you'd have to say. If it was forward, it was only just. Just couldn't get back to McCarthy on the inside there. I like that play. It was a good play. Here comes Talakai. Throwing himself in that Otara line. Just threatened to open up there a sec for a second. Well, Northcote now. They deserve a try for their endeavour in the last few minutes. And out comes Kioi. He's done this many times through the season. Keep 11 times, in fact. Here. He almost got through Hedemeyer. He had Ooh. a look. Could have had a crack there, too, I reckon. Parfitty Hedemeyer. Oh. Looked like he held on to it just. McCarthy's pass to Brown. Brown might have a crack. Brown's over the line and has got the try. Watata just starting to tie a fraction. With 20 minutes to play, and Reese Brown goes over to score his fifth try of the season. And finally, after 60 minutes, the Tigers are on the board. Finally, after 60 minutes, there's 20 left on the clock. Could that be the beginning of the greatest comeback yeah. you're going to see this season? How good would that be for the Tigers? Good work from Brown. He's been a nuisance, hasn't he, for Otara in this game? Yeah, definitely. Both ends of the field. Just an annoyance. Oh, oh big miss there for Tain Neho. Now they're under scoreboard and time pressure, aren't they, to try and count mount, mount a comeback? But here's one more look at it from this angle. Good work by Reese Brown. took advantage of that defence on that side of the field so well, not only their stamina but the mental fortitude has been tested big time in this game the Tigers yeah, we'll try to roll in the subs here Simao back on the field Uluwai takes a breather Now, here come the Scorpions. Tapu kicking off. 20 minutes to play exactly. Look out. Here he comes. Kiwa. Oh. I hope they've filled up that, that ice bath upstairs. Here am I. A great little dab from him. And now Houston Holloway. I'll give it back to your penny again. Where is he? Getting ready for a second carry of the set. Reese Payne now, hard working front rower. And away goes Hedemeyer. Good little run from dummy half. From the 14. Brown. Malu. Oh, there's a kick for Talakai. Well weighted. Oh, it's still in the field of play. Oh, who did that come off? Did it touch the toenail there of Utai? <laughs> I don't know if it did. There's a close call, I reckon. Here's that big charging run from Kiwa. It's touched uh, the line there, the hasn't line it? Yeah. So it's going to be Ortada's possession, and they've got the ball. But again, they're deep inside their own territory here. 
not been enjoying the field position that they had earlier in the game. Perez. One try in the first half for Joshua Perez. Tuifua. And the action again is Pierce Tanaki. He's right on the halfway line. And there goes the kick from Makalani Hakalo, who bounced this time for Hemi McCarthy. Who tries to bust him up the middle, McCarthy. Just starting to fall off a couple of tackles. Maybe that kick chase isn't quite as good as it was before from the Scorpions. Yeah, a little bit of fatigue sitting in now. You know, it is the, uh, the last 20 minutes now, the final quarter of this game. Well, can the Tigers find something deep here? A couple of quick tries back to back. They might get some real energy down the last maybe 10 minutes of this contest. We'll pass that time from Brown. That forces Alan Kitson to go back to pick up the ball. Yeah, they're not getting much joy on these shift plays. I said it earlier, I do think the uh, the key to going through this outside team is straight through the middle. Cook at dummy half. Payne, well handled that time by the Scorpions defence. Good tackle around the ankles there by Torvia, but a penalty coming late in the count. And these little decisions here also. Northcote need to go their way. Hedemai takes it quickly, and he's off. Yona Tali, Kioa. Can he get the Ozan three for an offload? Good tackle coming in there from Tusa. But there's space here. Hedemaya, energy from dummy half. He's very close. Sioni Tali at dummy half again. Kioa tries to drive over. He's short. Couldn't get the big legs pumping that close to the line. Good hands from Brown. Looking for a second try. Almost there. Almost an instant replay. Surely this time. And the referee is happy. And the Tigers through Houston Holloway have got their second try. And now it's their supporters starting to look a bit more energized. Well, you look at how the second half's gone. It's two tries to one at That's the moment. Right. That's right, mate. So Northcote. They've shown that they can play and they can get on top. Can they stay on top? Can they chase down this 20-point lead that they have in front of them? Well, these goal kicks are important. Neho. He's not going to miss that one. He gets the conversion. It's 28 points to 10. And it's Houston Holloway. He's gone over to score at the number 12. Sixth try of 2023 for him. Well, 18 points is the deficit with 15 to play. North Dakota just got to keep believing here, Anthony. They just can't give up. Can't give up. Got to keep hold of this ball as well. I wonder if Taylor Daniels is uh, back on the field. Can cause some damage down that flank. There's a big dick kickoff. Oh! Has that gone backwards? What a kickoff. How good was that kickoff from Natapu? There's a, there's a, he put her in a tricky spot. If it's Helico, you're thinking, do I leave this and let it go dead on the full? Well, it looked like it was going to drop in, didn't it? I reckon that was going to drop in just so in the end it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. It's an uncomfortable catch, nonetheless. Short restart. Little bounce. Oh, hard luck. Hard luck there for the, the Tigers. I believe that will be a penalty right in front of the sticks. So, yeah, what do you do? Take the two points? Yeah. I think Ortada a bit gassed at the moment, Anthony. Need a little bit of a breather. So, yes, they're going to take the two points. Yeah, we said earlier if that energy that they started with could be sustained. I think they've front-loaded their energy well. They were able to blow Northcote off the park early on. But if they, um, if they can kick the two here, it's four scores. Yeah. Four scores in seven years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be easy, is it? 
with 13 minutes to play by the time this kick goes over. How good is Natapu's kicking being? I know this one's from dead in front. So we won't have a problem with this one. But 100%. Seven from seven. Yeah, he's looking at that right now. So 30 points to 10. Still looking very comfortable as Graf Luulawai looks on. Still happy. Little kiss to the sky there. But he goes short here again. Now they're going long this time. Now the Tigers. Back comes Fatialofa for the Scorpions. The tackle from Malu. And now Utai. Well handled that time by the Tigers' defence. Dewey Fuwa back out there now too. Good charge into the line by Tusa. He's had a good game. Mind you, it's hard. It's hard not to pick out most of these Otara players. They've all really contributed strongly. Tanaki's another one of those. All done their role jobs well, haven't they? Here's Anthony with the next carry. Yeah, very strong carriers of the football, and they haven't gone away from what's worked. Well, the Shaman Cup's been a goodie. Here's Natapu's kick. Nicely taken by Shaney. So this set's going to start halfway between about 25 metres out now. Hemi McCarthy. Oh. <laughs> Fuifu, how good has he been in this game? Very strong. His distribution from dummy half has been good. And his defense has been excellent too. His distribution from that left shoulder has been very good. See one of the Scorpions players got a bit of cramp there. He might be in the play. Malu. He's Daniels! Yeah. Well, that was a little ambitious from Taylor Daniels. Couldn't link up with Morgan Cook. Uh, what's the problem here for Daniels? He's got that left knee strapped. He's limping as he walks back into the line. Referee just wants play to continue. Here's Kuiava. <laughs> just play around him. Now Fatih Alofa. Yeah, Robert Allen. One of the only Fatih Alofas to start all out of this year. There's three of them that went to Howick. Ooh, Anthony. The Anthony looking for that offload. Yeah, Kalis Fatih Alofa was one of those. Of course, a highly rated back row that was at the Junior Warriors this year. A little knock on there. Oh, Robert Allen staying loyal to the Scorpions. He's going to pick up a Shaman Cup as a little reward. Yeah, looks like it. Look at that replay again from Anthony. there just a little nudge forward there by Shaney and getting away with it that's cheeky isn't it <laughs> yeah no, there's a winger for you mate <laughs> you probably played on the wing a few times once or twice yes Daniel's playing the ball he's battling out there David Barner back out there for one last two row with 10 minutes to play offloads beautifully here's McCarthy Tackle from Simao. Kiwa. Siona Tully. Barter with that short ball at the line again, and that's a good play. Malu over the halfway line he goes. Tigers got to roll on here again. They really need to score from the set. 
And they've freed up the winger, Chaney, on the outside. Chaney! Oh, it's still alive here for the Tigers. Holloway's going over to score. Great try from the Tigers. Fantastic play, all started by the little offload from Barnett. And some pretty extravagant play on the left edge. Yeah, Good I love play. this shape here. I thought he might have blown it, not passing inside. <laughs> oh, McCarthy oh, oh, oh. did brilliantly. Did he actually <laughs> drop that? Well, in the end, referee was right there, Anthony, and he ruled he didn't, so... Yeah, I think he done well to keep hold of that. Here's the conversion attempt from Neho. And it's away, much to the delight of those Otara fans. So score's going to remain 30 to 14. So they still need to score three times in eight minutes. Now the Raiders against the Warriors recently did two, two tries in two minutes. It can be done, Glenn. Stranger things have happened. One thing's not in doubt, and that's Otara's enthusiasm to get a restart here. And they're going to take their time. So referee stops the clock. Well, the crowd's been awesome today, haven't it? Even now, uh, our online viewers, close to 6,000 people tuning in for this one. Well, that's awesome. Hope you're enjoying the game, folks. to restart Tigers need everything to go their way now Kiwa driving forward again poor pass that time but it's play on McCarthy still there for the Tigers and they haven't made the metres they would have liked in the first half off the set Holloway's got those two tries in the game now yeah, and I feel like Otara just lost that whack in their defense this last they have. 15. And here's Barna looking for some space behind the ruck again. Looking to get a bit more momentum. Brown, they're going to play some football on this play. Brown with the offload. Great hands there from McCarthy. Utai, has that come forward off him? Yeah, it's going to be more possession there for the Tigers. Well, they still need to score three times, Anthony as we touched on. But they're starting to get a bit of dominance up the middle now, as you touched on. Yeah, just rolling forward. Well, an unusual scene there to see David Barner play the ball. Usually every touch he's had, it's an offload out the back. Someone's got a war wound, so again, a delay in play. It's like a bit of zip's gone out of Portada's game, hasn't it? This crowd trying to keep them going. Well, they might have one eye on the after party. <laughs> well, not surprising to be fair. Now, out to Cook. Well handled there by Toyaba. That was well read by the number three for Otara. Talakai. Malu back to Bano. Up the middle, again, backs into the fence, gets the offload away. Siona Tully. And he's still got touches of class, hasn't he, David Barner? In the dummy half, he goes that time. Malu back to Reese Brown. Shot ball this time. Another try to the Tigers. And it's Holloway again. He's got a hat trick. He's been the magic man out on this left edge. Never say never, they got the momentum. Oh, you just think if Neho had nailed a couple of those earlier kicks, he gets that one. It took two seconds to take that one. 30 points to 20. You know, if he nailed those other couple of kicks, we'd be looking at a one-score game right now, wouldn't we? Yeah, this game isn't as one-sided as, uh, as we may have thought. Well, four second, tries in the second half. half yeah, second Northcote. half definitely belongs to Northcote. Well, remember the, the halftime score is 28 nil to the Scorpions. 28 nil, and now the fans in the stands really trying to urge on their team. They since 
There's a little bit of worry on some of those faces now. The referee's called time off. So the clock is stopped with I think just over two minutes left. Four minutes left. Yeah, four minutes left. That may be a little bit different to watch the uh, what the match manager has on their clock. So we will play to the whistle. Now if the Tigers can stay error-free, that will be... That will give them the best chance they can. Kiwa. One more try, it's going to be really, really interesting. Neho plays the ball for the Tigers. Brown, Barner up the middle. He'll look for the offload, but they seal it off that time. Great play the ball. Two defenders left on the ground there. It's opened Reece up Brown, some space. Off he goes again. Oh, just couldn't get the offload away, Brown. They're rolling forward. Look at this Hortada defence. They're splintered. Lovely play from Brown. It's still alive, McCarthy. Oh. Toyama's got it. Just there for the Scorpions. Wow, that was so close. Utai. Now we flip back to the Scorpions. They need to get to their kick here. That will just soak up valuable seconds for them. Oh, that was dramatic play, mate. That was dramatic. And some tired bodies for Otara. Cramping they, up, going everywhere at the moment. They really have run out of steam. Natapu. Tuifua. Oh, they've got to dig deep. They know that they can just get to their kick here. Go for maximum distance. Natapu. Well, good kick pressure there from David Bana. They're running it. Here we go. Here come the Scorpions now. Jacopo and Perez. Well, the bounce is kind there for Morgan Cook. Now he might return with interest. The veteran player for the Tigers. Less than three to go. They need a try here. The Tigers away goes Neho. Oh, Talakai's over there. Talakai. Oh, is that knocked on offside? Offside play right there. And the Tigers have got a penalty with 2.20 to go. They've got to take a tap and just go for it. 2.20 left on the clock, and you've got to think. If North Coast score here, it's game on. If oh, they right. win this game, I'll never I'll retire. I'll exactly. never commentate again. I'll, I'll stop watching Don't rugby league. That, I'll stop watching good. league. I've seen it all. You can't top that if North Coast win this game. Over 28 mil down. Two minutes to play. They've got a score here. David Bana. Good tackle from Toyama. A ripper. Bana again. Here's Malu. It's now or never for the Tigers. It's Yonatali. It's Kiowa. He's short. Just short. Time ticking away on the Tigers. It's Yonatali again. Good switch of play, Malu. Taylor Daniels! And I think that might have been touched out of play there by the Scorpions. Yes, it has. But the time is ticking still. Oh, hang on. So they're going to have to pack this, and they're going to have to score. They're going to have to score on this first play in order to take a conversion and get the ball back. So it's just to play the ball. You'd have to be looking towards Holloway, wouldn't you? Three tries already. Yeah. Brown looking for gaps up the middle. Alan Kitson. I think they're going to run out of time, but this will be a grandstand finish if they can get one more play if they score here. Knock on by the Tigers, and the Scorpions are going to hang on. Well, if only the Tigers had five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, it could be a different story. Oh, mate. Scenes of the crowd there, some awesome shots. Ah, spotted, the Scorpions. Uh, spotted Manu. Big oh, Manu, Manu Fatih Alofa, he just sent the text back to Kurz Road saying, get ready. 
Ah, oh, Toyaba got that first try. Who did you any second? Shaman Cup going back to Otara for the first time in nine years. <laughs> well, what scenes we got here? Great scenes here. Tanaki can't wait to get to, into the stands to see his Fano. What a great game of Shaman Cup Rugby League this has been. Awesome scenes here. And Otara Scorpions get there just. A little bit more comfortable on the scoreboard than perhaps that game might have been. As they really had their fitness tested near the end of it. But they hung on for a famous victory and a big North Coast by 30 points to 20. Well, it was 28 points to nil at half time. And they had, in fact, 22 points to nil, wasn't it? 22 points to nil. Tries to Tuiava, Hakalo. It is in the first half. Just the one try in the second half to Utai. As Northcote came right back into the game with four unanswered tries. But the Scorpions Club Rooms tonight is going to be the place to be in Auckland, isn't it? As the Scorpions claim the Shaman Cup for 2023. Great try by Filippo Utai. Uh, got to hand it to Northcote too. They really stuck at their task. Never let the scoreboard pressure get to them. As they mounted that comeback, which uh, fell 10 points short. But still an exciting finish. And some drama all the way through the game. That ought to start. Wow, how... Good were they at the start of that match. Thank you. Tigers come within a whisker of back-to-back -back Shaman Cups. They've been beaten Kapuranga last year in the game. see some support here 4-2 for the North Coast Tigers right let's get down onto the field let's right down to Anthony for some after match reaction well I'm joined now after Otara captain Maka how do you sum up this season mate um, just man no words at the moment I'm just really happy for the boys we, we, we wanted to go through to that um, Fox comp we didn't get it so we wanted to show a statement that we belong up there with the top teams and hopefully we proved one today yeah. Well, you guys have been unstoppable all year, an undefeated Shaman season. Was there any point in this year where you felt like you could have lost or you were challenged? Yeah, there's Ponsonby, Northcote, like even Hibiscus. Those guys have been testing us as well. And I showed again today, you know, a 22 point lead and they still managed to come back like that. And yeah, just credit to those teams as well, bro. Have you got a message for the odds other boys that? They don't want to play Shaman. They left the other clubs playing Fox. Sitting up for next year. Have you got a message for those boys? Nah, those guys are still my brothers. We're still here. I'm, I know they're out there in the crowd and we back them, you know. They want to do a family reasons and, yeah, we just showed that even if you want to go Fox, we can still play Fox live out here down south. And, yeah, that's it. Amen, Maka. Enjoy your weekend, mate. Yeah. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Uh, great words there from, from Makalani Hakalo. That was great. And, uh, the spirit is alive and well there at Otara. Tough game for the North Coast Tigers, but they really did give it everything. Let's get back to Anthony. All right, join now with the runners-up, Captain Houston Holloway, mate. Three tries today, bittersweet. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah, would have liked to got the win, but it's all good. 
It was a game that went down to the wire. I thought you guys, if there was five more minutes left on the clock. Oh, we could have played better from the start. You know, when we dropped the ball like that, I think we only completed one set. Um, you know, we didn't deserve to win the game, so full credit to Otara. You know, they played played well today. Awesome, mate. Unlucky today, but congrats on a good season. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, nice stuff there from Houston Holloway as well. And uh, some very good scenes and good words spoken by the two captains. Well, there we are, folks. We hope you enjoyed the game. Certainly exciting bringing it to you, these two games today. And congratulations to the two winners, the Mount Albert Lions, who beat the Tiara Two Roosters 22 points to 16 in that Fox Plate final earlier. And then Otara beating Northcote to win the Shaman Cup for 2023. 30 points to 20. 20 a, t- a terrific game of rugby league. We'll be back next Saturday for the grand finals of the Premiership Women's between Howick and Van Albert and then the Fox Memorial Final between Point Chev and Richmond. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>